If I got a German Shepherd puppy tomorrow, which I would love to do, these are the three health tests I would do on my puppy to look out for some serious diseases in German Shepherds specifically. So listen up, I'm gonna tell you guys them and things to look out for if you're getting a German Shepherd from a breeder. These are some questions you can ask them and some health tests that you can do or they can do on your new puppy. Or if you have a big German Shepherd like sweet Stella here and you're concerned for her health and you want Stella to live the longest life, listen up because I'm gonna tell you some screening tests you can do for things in German Shepherds that are life-threatening. Number one is degenerative myelopathy in German Shepherds. And that's a hard word to say, so I'm just gonna call it DM. So this is a sad disease in German Shepherds where they can become paralyzed. There are DNA tests, so I'm gonna put them in my description below that you guys can order online. A popular company is Embark that find the SOD1 gene in German Shepherds and you will get results back that will let you know if your puppy or dog is clear, meaning they have no genes that indicates they'll develop this disease. They're a carrier, which means they have one copy of it, which means they probably won't develop it. Or if they are at risk with two copies of the gene, then they are most likely going to develop it. They may not, but in most cases, if they have both of the genes, they'll develop DM. So this is something, if I got a German Shepherd, I would really wanna know this about my breed. Stella, good girl, here's a treat. Such a good shepherd. You're such a good dog. This makes me want to get a German Shepherd. But the second thing I would be worried about is a cancer called hemangiosarcoma. This is a very common tumor in German Shepherd dogs. It arises from the endothelial lining of blood vessels and organs. So routine blood work at your veterinarian won't pick up hemangiosarcoma cancer in shepherds, but we can do screenings of x-rays or ultrasounds of their abdomen to look for tumors that are starting to grow. Even though x-ray and ultrasound is great, by then it's often too late to do anything to help prolong their life. So there is a new test out that I just chatted with an oncology veterinarian, Dr. Sue. She's one of my idols. She is so brilliant. You can check her out. Here's her Instagram handle and I'll put um, that in my description below too so you guys can follow her. She's amazing. And she told me about the new Q test, which is a screening test for hemangiosarcoma. And it picks it up about 98% of the time. That's incredible. And she recommends doing this twice a year. It's not expensive. She told me it was about $100 to do. So this is something you can ask your local veterinarian about. So hemangiosarcoma, that's my number two worry if I owned a German Shepherd. So let's take a closer look at Stella here for number three, and that's hip dysplasia and arthritis in German Shepherds. So historically and unfortunately, German Shepherds were bred to have a specific angulation of their body to make them look more intimidating, like they're crouching down and getting ready to attack. So this caused them to develop hip dysplasia over time. So if I had a German Shepherd, I would wanna know how their hips are. And a fun fact is that their hip quality is genetic. It's linked to multiple genes and there's no test for this. Um, I did some heavy research on this for you guys to see if there was a DNA test and there's not. But what there is, is two radiograph companies, OFA and Penn Hip, who take x-rays of the German Shepherd hips and they judge them whether or not they're excellent, good, or poor hips. And if they're poor, of course you don't wanna breed this dog because that means they have a lot of hip joint laxity causing hip dysplasia. And there's other things involved too. But that is the third thing I would look out for if I owned a German Shepherd. All right guys, thank you for watching this video. I'm gonna go let gorgeous Stella here play back at daycare. If you guys have anything else to add about German Shepherd health, that you would want a new German Shepherd owner to know, please put that in my comments below. I make a video every single Sunday, so subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up to help my videos circulate, and I'll see you next week.